Well, this is going to be a first. I'm going to be looking at Saturday's AEW Revolution card. Coming to you live from the Wind Trust Arena in Chicago. We've got eight matches on the card so far. You can get this on Bleacher Report, Pay-Per-View, Fight TV, what have you. Now, anyone who's watched any of TwitWow's NXT stream since December, no, I usually pop in and with a little AEW Dynamite commentary. Something that Ashton has gotten on my case for. But this will be the... So, for explanation's sake, and John Ashton, I want you to watch this so I can explain why I'm doing this. I mean, why I've done this the past couple of months. Outside of that one bit at the end of January. The reason B is one of the apps on my Fire Stick, ModBro, while it does have the USA Network, the only problem with it is it's on West Coast streaming and broadcast streaming. I live on the East Coast, and this turns to a problem for me. It becomes a problem for me. Which is why I go to the TNT station, which is on East Coast streaming time and broadcast schedule. Well, so I basically am left with no choice but to watch Dynamite because of a damn app glitch. That's why I usually go into your streams and drop AE Dynamite Nuggets, W Dynamite Nuggets on Wednesdays. Believe me, I know you guys don't want me to do it, but I have no other options because of a damn application glitch. Now, let's get this card underway. Looked at. And the only reason I didn't do it at the end of January was because I was stuck in my dad's house, and he doesn't have either TNT or USA Network on his cable package because he's a cheapskate. Because he's a cheapskate. So you guys got a reprieve from me, me on that day. What match will kick off this card? I'm going to say Pac meets Scorpio Sky. The SCU versus the Dark Order. Whoever this exalted leader is, is up in the air. Some are saying Christopher Daniels, others saying it's Matt Hardy. I don't care which one of them it is. Either way, Dark Order goes over. And whether we like it or not, Daniels joins the Dark Order. But him being the exalted leader, do I believe Daniels will join Dark Order in this match? Yes. After this match, yes. But is he the exalted leader? In my eyes, no, he's not. But it would make no sense for SCU to go over at this point. Next up, Pac versus Orange Cassidy. Making his in-ring debut. He was a singles wrestler. Freshly squeezed against the bastard. I mean, the bastard against freshly squeezed. And pardon the puns, but if you ask me, Orange Cassidy is going to get juiced till he's left with nothing but pulp. Until he's nothing but pulp. I'm taking Pac to win this one. AEW Women's Title, Nyla Rose versus defending against Chris Statlander. I'm going to agree with Amazing Lucas. With Nyla Rose as AEW Champion, I feel like we're living in a South Park episode. Specifically, Episode 23, from Episode 7 from Season 23. Where there was this macho woman... Who was made in the image of the late Randy Savage, who was basically used as a social commentary on how the consequences of being too politically correct. In other words, words 
Nyla Rose is that character of social commentary of the dangers of being PC. Of being PC. In other words, that episode became too meta in hindsight for what would come. And given how AEW has failed to develop some strong baby faces on their track record, I mean, Riho, pretty anemic, Britt Baker turned heel almost shortly after her frustration, failing to win the AEW title mounted up in her head. Outside of Statlander, the next most credible baby face would be Hikaru Shida. It would be Hikaru Shida. At least to me, anyway. My pick to win, Nyla Rose walk my pick, Nyla Rose walks in and out of Chicago, still the AEW women's champion. And to those who are PC, people like Nyla are an example or in my opinion in a warning. A means to scream for me to scream, wake up. If people like this dominate women's sports, Women are going to be pretty much relegated back to the 50s. These as kitchen women. Pardon my mouth. Now, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just saying. Transgender athletes in, sing in singular, women singular gender sports doesn't fly with me, is what I'm saying. I mean, it does not fly with me. Me, and I'll leave it at that. Darby Allen versus Sammy Guevara. Oh, here we go. Two lucha style high flyers. There's and I am gonna and I am salving to see Darby Allen get his revenge on Guevara for basically rendering Sammy I mean Darby to AEW's equivalent of Wiley Coyote for the past couple of weeks. Having to use signs to communicate because his throat's been crushed. I hope he doesn't become Honma. In the sense of the grizzled, uh, the crushed throat voice box. But whatever. Jake Hager versus Dustin Rhodes in Hager's in-ring, AEW in-ring debut. Dustin did have a point. For such a big guy and a bruiser, Hager has been for the most part, relegated to Jericho's little, little bitch. His muscle. His little patsy to get dirty work done when Jericho's on the back foot. Ultimately, though, Hager's gonna sh It makes no sense for Dustin to come out on top over Hager. The natural's gonna get crushed like a bug in this case. I'm taking... Big, the big hurt, Jake Hager to win this matchup. Next up, for the AEW World Tag Titles, Kenny Omega and Hangman Page defend against the Young Bucks. There has been dissension within the ranks of the Elite, specifically with Adam Page's drunk, I mean, drinking habits, if it's lately. I mean, the fact that he doesn't want to tag, in a ta eight-man tag that screwed over the Elite, he didn't tag in Matt or Nick Jackson, trying to finish the match on his own, and got and he paid for it. I really do agree with Matt and Nick that Hangman's drinking habits are getting the better of him. And I mean, I haven't seen Hangman in person since 2018, when he was still in Ring of Honor. I mean, Page and the Bucks, I mean, Omega and the Bucks brought Page into Bullet Club in 2016. And repaying them 
them like this is not how the Bucks want it to be seen. I don't know who's going to turn heel, but I do know Young Bucks are walking out with the AEW tag team titles in hand. I don't care if it's Hangman who turns heel. I don't care if it's Kenny and the Bucks who turn heel. Either way, one of those four is one or three of those four are turning heel. You know, though at this point, I think Adam has become more of a lab. In hindsight, when you look at the elite, Hangman Page has become more of a liability than an asset with his drinking habits. I mean, with how drunk he's getting. Adam, get some help. Semi-main event. MJF with Wardlow versus Cody with Arn Anderson. I mean, I pretty much knew, knew in... October going into full gear by letting Cody MJF in Maxwell Jacob Freeman in Cody let the fox and let a fox and let the fox in the hen house and at full gear I was proven right when not only MJF threw in the towel which basically ensured Cody could never challenge Jericho for the AEW World Title ever again. He would then low blow Cody. Predictable, yes. But, in hindsight, decent storytelling. And then have MJF be the complete asshole little shitbag that he is, and then make Cody jump through hoops just to get a match with him. Him at Revolution. I.e., take 10 lashes, he can't touch M Maxwell and then face Wardlow in a cage match. Cody he needs this match, needs this victory for his retribution. And he's going to get that retribution. I am taking the American Nightmare to win over MJF. Though I do suspect that there could be some controversy to this, and this could carry over to Double or Nothing Memorial Day weekend in Sin City, though a lot of us are not hoping for that, though many people, I'm sure, are not hoping for that, just to inflate Cody's ego. Now for the main event, for the AEW World title, Chris La Champion, Chris Jericho defends against Jean Moxley. I am taking Moxley to win this one, believe it or not. Because even with inner circle interference, this could be where Lance Archer debuts and comes to the aid of Moxley. Or, on the other hand, in Le, Champ Le Champion can win and add another enforcer to his ranks in the American Psycho. Because let's face it, Archer's got a grudge on against Moxley for taking the IWGP US Heavyweight title from him at Wrestle Kingdom. And I do expect a lot of run interference from the inner circle. Well, to be fair. But Moxley needs to overcome it. So, there you have it. Those are my picks for my first, step, my first ever predictions in this video for an All Elite Wrestling event. It's taken me almost a year to do it. But, I'm happy to have done it. Comment on the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, Mets2128 signing out, goodbye, and good night.